Metro and bus uh, traffic at the Capitol uh, uh, ground to a halt today and that's after employees of the straight tra transport company staged a strike of course over the delays uh, currently uh, going on in the payment of wages and bonuses. Now the strike did highlight the financial problems faced by public companies on the verge of bankruptcy while President Kai Syed's administration suffers its worst financial uh, crisis. Now the union with about one million million members approved a two-day strike by air, land and sea transport uh, workers to protest against what it's called the government's marginalization of public companies. Uh, the strike has also sparked anger amongst thousands of people struggling to find a transport in the capital. Now, of course, Tunisia is currently seeking a $1.9 billion loan from the International Monetary Fund in exchange for unpopular reforms, which, of course, include spending cuts, the restructuring of public companies and also a reduction in subsidies. Well, let's now find out more about the situation in the country. We're joined by Professor Amor Boubakri. He's a professor of law at the University of Seuss, and he joins us now in Florida. Great to have you with us, uh, Professor. And let's start off with the reason uh, behind this strike. Of course, we know it's the delays in the payment of wages and bonuses uh, to civil servants in the country. So, Professor, what does this reveal to you about just how bad uh, the current financial situation situation is amongst public companies in Tunisia right now. Thank you and happy new year first. Uh, actually, the, this uh, strike is, uh, um, uh, is, is kind of uh, it's like the, the tree that, uh, that hides the, the forest. Uh, it's true that the problem is related to the uh, delay in the um, uh, payment of wages. And uh, by the way, this uh, this has become a kind of uh, recurrent issue uh, uh, in the last uh, few months. Um, but uh, actually, the problems are more deeper uh, and related to the uh, situation of the public uh, sector in general, uh, we, we, uh, we, which suffers from uh, structural uh, issues and problems in Tunisia uh, uh, since a few years ago. Hmm. Well, we know these latest uh, developments, they certainly underscore uh, the financial crisis that the country is uh, right now going through. Uh, is there any update on those negotiations with the IMF and, of course, with unions as well, who uh, don't like uh, the deal that the government is making with the IMF uh, in that $1.9 billion loan facility? What are your thoughts on the progress made so far? Uh, the government seems to be uh, optimistic about uh, the possibility to reach an agreement with the IMF. However, the reality uh, may be uh, quite different because uh, what we are seeing right now is uh, kind of uh, stalemate. Uh, the, there is uh, 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 pro problems with the first, with the uh, ongoing political crisis and the last uh, legislative elections uh, doesn't help to to uh, to send the positive sign to IMF and other uh, uh, partners uh, of Tunisia. Uh, the, given this situation, it seems uh, not easy at all uh, to reach such agreement uh, agreement with IMF, mainly uh, because the union uh, are op opposing any kind of uh, 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 for example, removal of uh, subsidies, uh, restructure of uh, public companies, which are the main condition for IMF to uh, uh, to sign the agreement with the, the government of Tunisia. Hmm. Well, it certainly seems, Professor, like the unions are uh, quite a pain in the side of the Tunisian governments. For example, we hear that uh, the powerful UGTT union, uh, it is planning another strike again uh, later this month. Now, given that this strike has also sparked anger amongst thousands of Tunisians uh, already, how do Tunisians feel about this, this sort of standoff between the state uh, and unions in the country? And how is it impacting the country's economy as well as uh, the current administration yeah tunisians are uh fearing a very difficult uh 20 uh, 2023 year uh, mainly because uh, the, the 
uh, UJTT, as you mentioned, announced the uh, uh, strikes and the uh, protest movements uh, in the coming weeks and months uh, to, pre to protest against the uh, intention of the government to remove uh, uh, subsidies, uh, uh, also to uh, freeze uh, wages. Uh, uh, add to that the difficult economic situation and the uh, inflation that may uh, reach two digits uh, this year, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the EGTT is uh, moving now in, uh, uh, on another front, which is the political front. And there, these are negotiations and talks between uh, the former, uh, actually the, the part of the former quartet who uh, won the peace uh, uh, Nobel Prize in 2016, uh, 2015, sorry. Um, and the, uh, the, we may see um, uh, a new uh, uh, platform to, to uh, uh, oppose uh, the uh, political uh, uh, situation uh, in Tunisia now, mainly uh, uh, with regard to the elections and the political process that uh, was uh, initiated by the President Kai since uh, July 20, uh, 2021. Mm. Well, we do have to leave it there, but we're certainly watching that situation closely. Many thanks, Professor, for those great insights. That, of course, is Professor Amor Bubakri, a professor of law at the University of Seuss.